Welcome to the Weekly Letter Podcast. I'm your host, Owen, here with Brandman. Brandman, what do you have to say? Uh, you see it? Repping the high school here. Yeah. Repping the bills here. Discord. I swear to God. What the fuck? Discord won't shut up. Let me double check make sure I'm recording. <laughs> Discord! We'll cut this out. I don't know how to... I'm leaving it. I'm just gonna deal with it. I okay. don't care. It's brought to you by annoying Discord notifications. Uh, today, we are doing the AFC and talking about each of their biggest needs this coming, this coming off season. And if the free agency started right now, fuck extensions, fuck franchise tags, who would these teams target to get? Based on their open cap space and who's available and, like I said, the, the biggest hole on the roster. Um... <coughs> Let's start with the top of the compass. Let's do the AFC North, all right? Uh, yeah, last see. place finisher, Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. They um, do you think do you think the reason they lost they finished so badly was because of Joe Burrow's injury, or do you think they would have finished that bad even if Joe Burrow was still in? Um, they might have done a little better, but you, I mean, I don't know how much better they would have done. Okay. Well, the biggest free agent right now that's leaving is AJ Green. They also have, are losing William Jackson, as well as uh, the edge rusher. What's his name? Carl Lawson. Those are the real big like losses. Um, and so as of right now, as of this experiment, they're losing all of them. I still think, even though they're losing their top corner, you know, DN, and their top wide receiver, I think their O line is still their biggest need. But I don't know. Let's. I, I gotta look at who is even available for O line. I mean, you got Brendan Scherf, Scherf, Brendan Scherf. That's what it is. I always mess up his name. Brendan Scherf, who is phenomenal at guard. You got Joe Tooney at guard from the Patriots. You got David Andrews, uh, center out of New England. Uh, Trent Williams is a free agent. Let's see. Anyone else? Mike Pouncey, but he's retiring. Oh no, Mike Pouncey. Yeah, they both. Did both the brothers retire? I want to say no. I don't remember. I thought Hardy wants to say no. I know one of them did, but the other one didn't. Uh, Andre Villanueva. I think they have a decent amount of cap space as well. They mm. have. Let's see here, forty-three million three hundred fifty-four thousand eight hundred ninety dollars cap space. So I think of all these guys, so the biggest they have uh, a tackle in Jonah Williams. Mm -hmm. They have a decent left guard and their center it wasn't that bad. They just need a better right guard and right tackle. Michael Jordan and Bobby Hart are terrible. Yes, that Michael Jordan. Um So I feel like they could go with like a guard more than a center, so I feel like either Joe Tooney or Brandon Scherf would be the move here. Um Tooney I believe is younger. I know Scherf has uh, been in the league. I'm pretty sure he's been in the league longer. Let me just check. Brent, Joe uh, Tooney. Yeah, Scherf, Scherf is 30 and Tooney's 29. Okay, so it's not a big of a difference. Tooney's yeah. market value, average market value, as according to Spock Track, is 15.3 million in comparison to Scherf's, which, if you give me one second, I can figure it out. But who would you rather have, uh, Tooney or Scherf? Scherf is like, he's had a couple, he's had a bunch of Pro Bowls under his belt in Washington. Tooney has also been. Pro Bowls, All Pro, stuff like that. Um, well, looking at looking at everything, I mean, his 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 uh market value was twelve million, twelve point seven, by the way. Okay. Um, I, I was I was looking at it while you were <laughs> trying to figure that out, but um, I think not. If they're looking to save money, I think Sheriff is definitely the move because, um. Despite him being like a year older, I think they they're both really good, and them to get what is it like a three million discount in Scherf? Is it three million? How much is Tooney's? Uh, it was yeah, it was like fifteen point six or something like that. So yeah, getting that extra three million. Dis I mean, they have the cap space to go after someone like Tooney if they really wanted to, but I think to be able to save that three mil would be very beneficial to also get someone who is. A, a great guard that could help their O-line and maybe help Burrow not die. So, right, and then you if I were them, I would go for You could target tackle in the draft and then proceed to mm -hmm. build that offensive line on Burrow. All right, next is going to be our uh, 
Cleveland Browns. Ooh, yay. Uh, who are they losing this this year out of free agency? Let's double. Let's quickly check. I know Olivier Vernon is probably gone because he ruptured his Achilles um, in the last week 17, and he's a free agent. Mm. He's definitely a free agent. Um, other than that, there's not a lot of people really like worth resigning. It's not really that big of. They're not losing that big thing, but they do. Right. They do need an edge rusher. Um, mostly just because they're losing Olivier Vernon. They need someone to take the pressure off of Miles Garrett. Cleveland has twenty five point seven three nine million dollars in cap space, so they don't resign anyone. You know everything. They, you know, do in this experiment they do. So for your edge rushers, you have Von Miller. We're gonna we're gonna count his club option as he's a free agent. You have Von Miller available. Mm-hmm. JJ Watt, Leonard Williams, uh, Melvin Ingram, Bud Dupree, Shaq Barrett. Um, you have some decent options. Jadavion Clowney, Justin Houston, Yannick Ngakwe, Ryan Kerrigan. Um, I kind of like the Ryan Kerrigan fit because he was always in an uh, uh, like a. Uh, I can't say it was always an odd or even front, but like he was always just a steady, reliable edge rusher out of Washington. You know, they had all those. For, he's like one of those first round picks that they had. Um, he'll mm-hmm. definitely be cheaper than all the other options, especially when you have like you're strapped to like twenty five million. As the Browns are, but you could um, and they they like they were not an even four even front four three, so either him, J.D. McClowney would be decent, uh, Ngakwe maybe, but I think I think my favorite out of these ones are gonna be, um, who did I just say? I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, I can't find the name. <laughs> Ryan Kerrigan, that's who it was. Ryan Kerrigan. Ah, there we go. He doesn't have a market value, so I can't judge it. But let's just go off of Yannick and Gakwe's market value. And Kerrigan's older; he's like thirty. Mm. Gakwe's market value is fifteen point five, so I'd say Kerrigan's probably like twelve, ten, 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 yeah, and, ten and, twelve. And because he's thirty three now, I don't see them signing him, signing him to like a long term deal anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it's gonna be like a maybe like a one two year. Right, and he's gonna want to sign. He's gonna want to sign with a contender, and the Browns made it to the division round last year, so I feel like that's a good fit for him. I do think it would be interesting to see Clowney on the Browns. I don't know how that would work, but I think it would be interesting to watch. Did they go after him when they were looking when they were trading him? Like looking to trade him? I can't remember. <sighs> I don't remember. I don't remember. He only took four hundred snaps with ten. Yeah, he, he got hurt, and he didn't have any sacks mm-hmm. or anything. He wasn't even, like, really good in Seattle. So, I mean, like, if you put him on the Browns, he's going to get a lot of one-on-ones because, his, you know, Garrett's going to be doubled by everything, and you just got to hope that he can finally achieve his potential because he's never had more than, <laughs> I think, like, nine sacks, nine and a half sacks this season. Mm-hmm. So, you got to hope that he comes in, and Stefanski coaching him up, you know, coach of the year, Kevin Stefanski, uh, can help to coach him up uh Aside, Miles Garrett. All right. Um, next is the Baltimore Ravens. Their biggest need is probably gonna be edge rusher as well because they're losing both Matt Junon and Yannick Ngakwe. Also, they could go center. Um, that's actually I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have him take. Uh, I'm gonna grab him. Have him pick up center Corey Lindsley from the Packers. Let me just double check their cap space. They have twenty four point nine three two million. Mm. Corey Lindsley. Let's see what his projected market value will be. They even have one for him because they only have him for like half the people. They do. Corey Lindsley, Green Bay Packers center. I think he's only like 27. Uh, no, he's 29. Okay. And his projected market value is 9.7. So I feel like they could pick him up, improve that run game, go after situational pass rushers in the draft. That'll be what they should go for. Uh, but I'm curious to see if you have them take another edge rusher, especially since one of their edge rushers they want to resign, Yannick Ngakwe, is one of the ones in free agency that you're looking for. Maybe you want to go with a Shaq Barrett instead, or a uh, go balls out and get a Von Miller. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think they would go after someone like Von Miller, but I do like someone like Shaq Barrett. Um, maybe Bud Dupree, but I don't think so. I think Shaq Barrett. Plus, it wouldn't. Time out. Von Miller's calculated market value is ten point three million dollars. They're predicting three years, thirty point nine million. 
for Von Miller. But Yannick Ngakwe was getting 15 and a half. Like, I know Ngakwe is only 25 and Von Miller is 31 coming off of a season ending injury. But if you're anticipating him playing for three more years, you really think Yannick Ngakwe <laughs> is going to be better than Von Miller in the next three years? <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what is what is what are they projecting JJ Watt for? Because he said he's getting offers between fourteen and sixteen. They didn't have projection for him. Oh. If that's the case, to sign fucking Von Miller. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, Corey Lindsley? For he, you're getting Von Miller for the same price, like half a million. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I thought he would have definitely have a way higher market value than that. I was expecting like eighteen or something yeah. like that because it's Von Miller. I mean, yeah, that kind of throws everything for a loop, doesn't it? That. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so uh, Von Miller. <laughs> Von Miller is all right. Cool. Uh, on to the Steelers. Steelers right. could uh, pick up a running back. They got some old linemen they could replace. Uh, pass rusher losing Bud Dupree, but they have Tim Hightower to look for like DBs because you know uh, the other uh, Edmonds brother isn't that great. Um. Hmm. Steelers currently have negative seven point two million. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you got to do a little Frankenstein's work with restructuring deals and cutting guys and. Yeah. And how much? How much? Yeah. How much cap do we want to give them? Like, if, if after restructuring Ben's deal and doing all this and that, what do you think they're gonna end up having? Ten. Uh, maybe a little less than ten. Okay, a little less than ten. Well, who do you think take a target with a little less than ten million dollars to fix um, it? They're also losing Juju in this scenario. They're losing Juju. Okay, so wide receiver is going to have to be something that they. Well, I don't know if I don't know if they'd rather target a wide receiver in the draft because you 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 can find a solid wide receiver in maybe third fourth round. Correct, but they also and they also have James Washington. And mm-hmm. Chase Claypool, so they have guys. It's not like they're mm-hmm. desperate for him. Uh, the left tackle Alejandro Villanueva is a free agent. Uh, their center just retired. Villanueva is looking to get sixteen and a half million. Yeah, no, nope. <laughs> that ain't working. Um, I don't know. I'm like, I gotta figure out. I, I know there's some wide receivers that are like, you could grab. Like you're like the if you're the Steelers, and you want to continue going towards a pass offense, you can look at the wide receivers. I know there's a bunch of them that are like failed reclamation projects, like John Ross is a free agent this year. There's a bunch of guys that are like would co- come in for cheap, and then like Keelan Cole, um, Sean Jackson, Adam Humphreys, people like that, that would come in and just take a pay cut to be with a team who went to the playoffs last year. Um, it could bring AB back. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's gonna happen, but uh, I still think they should probably target offensive line. If I if I could just say none, I would probably for this team. But I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to scan through offensive line here and their and their market values, but a lot of market values for these guys are going up. Like especially looking at uh, like I'm looking at David Andrews, who made three mil, but is now projected like seven, I think. Um, guys like Feliciano, who made three point six mil, but is now projected, I think eight. Um, so a lot of guys, at least the ones that we can see what they're projected, they're definitely getting projected a lot higher than what they made previously. And for someone to, for an O lineman to go for seven, eight mil, I don't know if they, do they want to put that much into just one guy and then rely on the draft to fix their needs? All right, screw it. I'll have them sign John Miller, guard out of Carolina, who was previously on the bills because he's half decent, sucked on Cincinnati. I just, I just found him and they need interior help. They might be able to bump over a guard, or or even if you want to go center, you could sign. I get like if if who'd you say? What center did you say was like seven million? David Andrews. If you have nine million dollars in cap, I think you could spend seven million dollars on David Andrews. I don't think he's, I think he's gonna get more than seven million dollars, but he is, yeah. he's coming off a season where he missed the whole season because of blood clots. Then his past season, so um, I think David Andrews would be good. I guess I guess with that market value it would be good there. Um, okay, uh, never eat shredded wheat. 
North, East, Southwest. We're going to AFC East next. Uh, <laughs> going to the Jets. What do the Jets need besides everything? <laughs> Literally everything. I mean, it helps that they have 73 mil in cap. Yeah, they have a lot. So they can go after it. Anything, <laughs> really. They, they really have their pick. Of, besides, like, the Jags, they have the pick of what the fuck they want. Yeah, but, I mean, there's some glaring things. Like, I mean, obviously, QB is going to be a big question for them. They might target trade, draft. They might. There are a lot of things they can do as far as uh, quarterback goes. Is QB goes. a big need, though? Because, like, Darnold... Do you want to roll with Jets Sam Darnold? I mean, with Robert Sala, maybe. Not with Adam Gase. I mean, true. I, I think any quarterback under Adam Gates might have a, you know. I'm I'm looking. All right, so <laughs> this might be off the ball. Like I know we're talking about like people. I'm just thinking of someone I would look at immediately for us to sign. If I was a Jets fan, I'd look at like, okay, what running backs are available? You have mm-hmm. Kenyon Drake, Todd Gurley, Mark Ingram. Uh, you have guys like James Conner, Gus Edwards, Aaron Jones, uh, Chris Carson, Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay's gonna be restricted free agent, but we'll just assume he's gonna be a free agent. Um, so you have guys, Lamar Miller, Adrian Peterson, if you want to continue your old thing, Leonard Fournette. You have your, ten, like I said, you have your pick of your litter of your running back. I think for what they have, and so that way they can show people up for have, having them draft running backs in the first round, they should probably go running back. I'm thinking either Leonard Fournette, hard-nosed runner. Chris Carson would probably be good um, for that San Francisco 49ers-style offensive run game. James Conner underwhelmed but you get what i mean i think i think my favorite would be leonard fournette let's see what his market value is and drum roll please uh, that gave up pretty fast 8.1 million dollars how much 8.1 oh (laughs) i mean they gave over 10 million dollars a year to to leave on bell so i mean yeah something Fuck it. He's only like 26. It's not, I, I think he's that old. He's not old. He got drafted just recently. Like, not that long ago. The Jets could also look to beef up their defense with some young premier talent, like cornerback and edge rusher positions. 26, could totally. assist them. Uh, who are you seeing in those positions that you think that would go to the Jets? Um, who would go to the Jets? I don't know who would want to. Um, <laughs> let me let me look at free agent corners real quick. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, like, um, who really wants to go to the Jets? <laughs> I do agree. Corner well, though is the, a big need for them. Depends how they want to do it. There are some. There are there are some good cornerbacks in the. Do you go with free agency? It's like just Patrick, a lot of them are old. Yeah, I say, do you go with the older guy like Patrick Peterson, Richard Sherman, AJ Boye? Or do you go... I think looking at this group, you almost have to. All the top free agents are 30 and above until you get to Brian Poole. Uh, Xavier Rhodes like had a really Kevin, good season. Xavier Rhodes, Xavier Rhodes is 31, but I mean, still. William Jackson, he's not bad. Uh, I think if you go someone old and then, and then hope that you can get someone, maybe someone to develop in the draft, like if you get a project guy. Uh-huh. What about Levi Wallace? That's a project guy. Um. Um. I can see, the scary part is I can, not see, bad. I can see that happening. I can see him signing with the Jets, and like we have to face him every year, and then we just roast him every year. If we don't resign him, that's fair. All right, so you're picking one of the old ass replaced hips cornerbacks. <laughs> I could see that. Um. I don't know. A lot of them also like didn't play for a lot of the year. Like Hayden and Sherman both played five games. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a guy like uh, I don't see them getting McCordy. I uh, um maybe they go after someone like Boulier, Mr. AJ. Yeah, but he, he only played seven he, games, but he hasn't really been the same since he was out for the Jags. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they'd go after like Patrick. They could try to make a splash with Patrick Peterson, even though how much of a splash this. I mean, I mean he still did good. I mean, it's New York. It's New York City. You have to make splash moves if you're going to if you're going to be in New York City. You need to make you need to sign yeah. some big names. Yeah, Patrick Peterson would make sense. And not now is the time with all the cap that they have. I mean, they they the biggest thing is they need someone under center that can guide that team. The only problem is Patrick gonna... Peterson didn't want to play for the Cardinals because he wanted to play for someone who was contending. He's not going to go to the Jets. 
Oh yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, I'd say my the best guess is probably gonna be Xavier Rhodes. In real life, without this test, they're uh, he's probably resigning with Indy. But if he's on free agency, I yeah. think they go after Xavier Rhodes. Bigger name than most normal fans would know, and also had a bounce back season. So, and he's not that old. He's thirty one, so it's not like terrible. Um, next is the Patriots. How do you feel about Ronald Darby. Ronald Darby. Ah, he's been. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Just a, a complete curiosity question. He's projected nine point two million. By no the way, way, no way. There's no <laughs> way he gets that. There's not a <laughs> chance in hell he gets nine point two million dollars. He was decent. I'll give him that. I mean, he had a whopping uh, 55 tackles and no picks, no forced fumbles, no QB hits, no sacks over 16 games, <laughs> according to his website. So, Well, I don't know why. That screams 9 mil. Yeah, no, no, did not give Ronald Darby 9 mil. Anyway, <laughs> back to what I was originally saying, on to the Patriots. It's got to be a wide receiver, right? Patriots, yes. They have yes, a lot of cast space. They have a lot of cast space. My guess is they're going to go either Green or Hilton. I think Hilton would probably be the better one for them. They're going to want to sign whoever's the top guy there. I think they go T.Y. Hilton, personally. I like T.Y. Hilton. I like that fit. Uh, let me see. Who are other guys? I mean, I couldn't see Allen Robertson on the Patriots. Uh, I couldn't see... I can kind of see Allen. He's, a... he's only 27. Allen Robertson... They do like their bigger body receivers. You got Allen Robinson. You got Kenny Galladay, potentially. I don't know if I see Allen Robinson going to. No, I mean, they don't. They don't. They don't. Yeah, he'd probably want to go somewhere that has a quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> or we could look at quarterbacks. Dak Prescott could go to New England. You know, there's there are some quarterbacks in this free agency. Could you see Dak signing with New England? Uh, no, the for the face. fact of I hate the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> if that happens, I'll be sad. They could sign Joe could Flacco. It happen? Joe Flacco. Yeah, Mr. The... Bad at the line. These are your top quarterbacks. Prescott, Brissett, Trubisky, Fitzpatrick, Taylor, McCarron, Dalton, McCoy, Griffin III, Barkley, Sudfeld, Newton, Flacco, Griffin, Glennon. Bunch of crap. <laughs> I mean, I guess it just depends on what Belichick wants to do here. Is he gonna? I think is he gonna opt for what I think is actually. Gonna I mean, I think with his defense, he should probably try to make something happen now, right? I think he's gonna trade for Mariota personally. That's just my mm-hmm. opinion. Um, but as of right now, I think I think he should load up with weapons and then just take like one of the options, like a Fitzpatrick or a Tyra Taylor or someone like that, or a Mitchell Trubisky, and just bring someone in who has played games and then just surround them with weapons so that way this is the best, we're just going to try to win with defense and here are some weapons so you don't suck. Because imagine Mitchell Trubisky throwing to their current weapons. They would lose every game. Any quarterback coming in there with those kind of weapons is not going to do good. So you might as well just spend spend your money on weapons and then go for a cheaper option at quarterback, veteran-wise, who, had, who so you don't have to worry about them working out the kinks of playing in the NFL for the first time. If they want to opt for bridge, then young QB, they could sign Tyrod, and then he can have the, the, the Tyrod curse of, yeah, of getting every fu- young QB that's under him just... Fucking him over the and then becoming amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, exactly. You got, you got exactly. Baker, you got Josh, and you got Justin Herbert now. <laughs> Who's next is the question. It's not a matter of uh, if, if, it's a matter of when, when. and who. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Dolphins, who are they looking at here? Finny Finn Finns. Let's see, how much cap do they have? They have 28 mil. Mm-hmm. Not bad, not bad. Um... That was majestic. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. I think, well, I think they're going to go Alejandro Villanueva, left tackle from Pittsburgh, for that whatever he was getting. He said 9, 16 million. He's not getting 16 million. They're going to sign him. Will Austin Jackson, the right tackle. Robert Hunt, the right guard. The same scenario. If you talk to people about the draft, they say you should draft the left tackle so they can do that same exact thing. And they're just going to sign one right now. Upgrade uh, offensive right. line. Yeah. I like, I like uh, often beef up the offensive line. 
I think. Um, how do you feel about them going for a wide receiver? I could see it, but I don't want. I don't think they should go for someone big named. You know I'm saying and they need. They need someone who can complement Devonta Parker, which I guess T. Y. Hilton could do that. He's more of the shifty route runner guy. They need. They need mm. speed. They just need speed. Uh, a Deshaun Jackson type. A Deshaun Jackson could work. Uh, a John Ross. They could try to sign him, fix him up. Uh, you know, someone like that. I think Deshaun Jackson's a good one. Deshaun Jackson has a good ring to my ear. Mm. I like that one. Lindsay Jones. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sir drops a lot. I saw him as a free agent. I was like, oh. They could, he's go, here. They could go Antonio Brown realistically. They could. And then he did. He'd Would be, Antonio Brown go there though? They were ten and six, and now they have a young quarterback, and he has potential to be uh, getting the ball thrown to him a lot more because Chan Gailey's gone as offensive coordinator, and they're going to want to really prove to everyone the two is good, so they're going to throw the ball more. So he could be getting a high volume targets. It's a very selfish move for him that would probably pay off. Yeah. I, I remember I, Cloud. I Cloud was a free agent. Yeah, I, I still like either Villanueva, AB, or Deshaun Jackson. Those are my three. I, I kind of like the Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson, that sounds pretty good to me. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, now for uh, the Buffalo Bills, who have zero fans at the Weekly Huddle podcast. They're, everyone here is just <laughs> anti Buffalo. Yeah, hate them. Uh, it's JJ Watt, right? The answer is just JJ Watt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the correct answer. I mean, what there are are there any linebackers that we could like sign? Signing a linebacker, I think that is a what's our no no. What's, what's our cap space right now? Like uh, according to Spot Track, what is our cap space? Right now, we are the last team in the positives. <laughs> we have three mil. Okay, I, I did read an article somewhere that, and I I'm personally thinking about making a video about how I could fix how you, how I would fix the cap space situation for the Bills. But, like, looking at these linebackers, KJ Wright, but he's going to ask for a fuck ton of money. Uh, Avery Williamson. It's JJ Watt. The answer, the answer you're looking for is JJ Watt. Maybe, like, Thomas Davis. Thomas Davis was a Carolina linebacker with uh, McDermott. I couldn't remember his fucking name. And then he went to Washington because Rivera was there. So I could see them signing Thomas Davis. It's either between those two guys then. JJ Watt, Thomas Davis, and if you want to keep the Carolina connection going, come on short. I'll just throw that one in. Yeah. Wish we would have just had. I, I, I really want to see what our cash is once we restructure things because they're. You can. Now looking at this linebacker, uh, these free agents, like some of them, like Hassan Reddick, I really like. You can, you can actually, there's a feature on Spot Track, not sponsored by Spot Track, but Spot Track, I, if you want. You can have our six views. Uh,. Spock Jack has a mode where you can go in and cut people and then restructure a uh, contract and stuff and then manu like manipulate it and then it'll tell you what your cap space is at the end. Which is what I was going to use for uh, that uh, that video I was looking to make. Should be fun. Just looking at it, like looking at someone like Hassan Reddick who could be our Klein but roided up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Klein but actually good. <laughs> he wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. I'll give him that. He wasn't bad. No, he wasn't bad. We, uh, we, we were using him in the wrong way for part of the season, yeah, though. Yeah, because Milano was hurt. I'm still going to say J.J. Watts the, the move. Yeah. Agreed. All right. All right. Agreed. Uh, South, we're going to go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Literally anybody. They could draft. They could sign literally anybody. They have 80-something million dollars in cap space. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> um, All right. Let's see. Top... Top free agents. Who's at the top of the list? Who are they gonna get? Von if Miller, this Matthew Judon, Melvin Ingram. Oh, these are these are the linebackers still. I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dak Prescott. Dak not... Von AJ. No, they're not getting Dak. <laughs> they're not going Von. They have Clavon Chase on. They have Josh Allen. They don't need another edge rusher. They could go Leonard Williams, interior D lineman. They're losing Taven Bryant this year, Marcel Darius. They could go off as a line. They have a lot of holes. Their defense is yeah. not amazing, not great. They can try to build up the offensive line to protect Trevor Lawrence. 
Uh, Joel Casey could be an interior guy they could look for. They have a they're, they're, their problem is they have so much they could do. It's hard to just pick one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they could bring Allen Robinson back. <laughs> <laughs> They could bring back AJ Boye, re, 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 uh, spark the magic there. Uh, yeah, they could literally like do anything. They could do whatever really? they want. Because then the players are also going to go there because Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Maybe not like guys who are like 35, but like if you're 28, 29, you look for your last big contract, you would go to Jag. You go to the Jags. Mm-hmm. Um, crap, this is kind of difficult to pick one. I'm just looking at the top. Of this list, and I'm gonna go Leonard Williams just for an inside presence out to help with the pass rush there. Um, they could go linebacker, but like, what the fuck, fuck it. <laughs> Literally anyone but Leonard Williams, number one, I guess. So <laughs> the next best thing you can go Kwan Short. You got uh, you got. Uh, the D tackle from Tennessee was on the Broncos. What's his name? Drell Casey. Um, what is Leonard Williams' market value looking like? I'm curious. Leonard Williams is, if it'll load, 11.2. That's not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna stick with Brent. I'm gonna stick with Leonard Williams. I was either gonna do it with him or just find an offensive tackle to replace Cam Robinson because they're losing him. Thanks. Okay. All right. Uh, any any uh, any contradictions? Any uh, what's the word um, called? Objections? That's what it is. My brain isn't working. No, I think you could say any name and it would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, any big name and it would be like, all right, cool. <laughs> next, Texans, Houston Texans. Okay. Hear me out. All right. Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett. Either him or Tyrod Taylor, or Tyrod Taylor. They need a bridge quarterback. Brissett would be better because he's younger. Tarod would be better because you're probably, if you look to draft a quarterback, you're guaranteed a good quarterback if you have Tarod. <laughs> out, out of the draft. If I was a Jags, I'd sign Tarod as a backup just to fuck him over even more. I could see Brissett. They have nine mil right now. How much is Brissett going for? Do we know? Uh, no idea. Could, did, did, they, did they give you a market value for him? Uh, let me. I'd say back. Like, he'd want good backup money, so like five million dollars a year. If you give him five million dollars mm-hmm. a year and then tell him you're gonna start, I think he'd be okay with that. It has no value. I, he's definitely not gonna get it like a Bridgewater type deal, which was like twenty million dollars. But he'll get he'll get good backup money and then a chance to start at Houston. I think he'll take that job. I'm glad that his stats are games played 11, snaps 48, passing yards 17. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he, came for, he, he would come in for Phil Rivers to do, like, one-yard yeah. snaps and stuff. <laughs> it's just funny to see, like, oh, 11 games played, 17 passing yards. Woo! Ooh, almost as many plays as there are passing yards. All right, um, <laughs> so what? Uh, what's your verdict here? Who are you going with for the Texans? What, they had nine million a cap. They're fucked. Yeah, they have nine million right now, f- and fucked. They, they, they need more than nine million. Let's just say that. <sighs> yeah. Uh, uh, I guess we'll see if they end up how they end up handling. Sean told the coach, head coach, personally this past week that he's not playing for them. He called him. Good. He's like, "Ayo, coach, no, nah, it ain't happening. It ain't the move." Good, as he should. Um. Say if we ignore quarterback, then after quarterback, I mean, there are you could go wide receiver. I'd go wide receiver in the draft if I were them. Um, I think def- there's a lot of holes on defense. Your defense is ugh. just take, it's the opposite. No, it's the opposite problem of the Jags. They don't have a lot of money. <laughs> well, it's the same problem. They have both have holes, but they don't have as much money. Yeah, they they just don't have uh, the money to fix it. Like they can go corner, they can go safety, like like any secondary. <laughs> Ronald Darby is this where Ronald Darby goes? Yeah, do you think? Maybe. <laughs> what, what is projected nine million? <laughs> He's not getting nine million dollars. Ronald Darby is not getting nine million dollars. I hope he does. I hope he does, so we can look back at this and just. Oh my god. Um, 
Yeah, I think that would just be great. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's move on. Let's move on to the Colts now. Colts uh, losing Xavier Rhodes in the cornerback. Um, losing Molly Cooker need a safety. Uh, they could probably target those in the draft. To be honest with you, they could go wide receiver. They're losing Taylor Hilton, but they, and they only really have Michael Pittman. Uh, uh, Zay Jones. Like, what's their? Ca- they have a lot of cap space, don't they? They have fifty mil to work. Fifty mil. Carson Wentz. You got Michael Pittman, so you got that big body kind of guy. So I could see like Allen Robinson, maybe Sammy Watkins, Corey Davis, you know, joining the enemy. I kind of like Sammy Watkins. That sounds kind of kind of good to the ear. Where's Boris? Uh, is is Perriman gonna resign? Do you think? In this Rashad Perriman Jets. Uh, in this scenario, just assume he's a free agent. I wouldn't be opposed to Brazil. I, I like Brazil, apparently. Mm-hmm. Chris Godwin, if he's a free agent. Kenny Galladay. There's, they got Tim Patrick. These are all restricted free agents, but again, assuming they're free agents, this would be... They got some guys to work with, and they some of these guys wouldn't cost them a lot of money. Mm-hmm. I just think... Okay, my best one... I'm going to say Sammy Watkins. Let's see what his market value is. I think His Sammy market Watkins is 10. 10? I think I think Sammy Watkins with Michael Pittman and then Carson Wentz would be good. They also could look for left tackle because Anthony Costanzo retired. But if they're signing Sammy Watkins, they can just draft one in the first round with their twenty-first overall pick. My question with Sammy though is now that Sammy's gonna if he goes there, then he's he's then treated as a number one, I'd assume. How is that gonna play a role into his production then? Because he's in Kansas City he was good as, you know, He's not looked the same as a Kelsey in a hill. Now he's kind of one of the focuses of... Yeah, but they also have Michael Pittman and Jonathan Taylor that worry about the run game. I think it'd be okay. Okay, fair. Also, real quick, side note. We're not on the NFC, but I just got a notification from Blitz Report. Ranking landing spots for Russ. He's not getting traded. Just stop. I know you're desperate for things to talk about. He's not getting traded. Just <laughs> shut the fuck up. Stop. Stop it. I would, I would hate if he got traded. I have enough, I I have enough bullshit to handle I'm trying to figure out the Sean Watson rumors. I can't handle <laughs> anymore. Stop with the Russell Wilson bullshit. <laughs> Next team, Titans. Go. Titans. Let me see their cap first. Da, 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 uh, five mil. Five mil? I'm, I'm mad you just did that. <laughs> they need a tight end. Who the fuck is tight ends available? Jimmy Graham if he gets cut. Who are the tight ends? I think you draft a tight end if anything. Yeah. I'd rather draft a tight end. Wait, what the fuck? They need pass rush. They need a corner. They could use both lines. Help. Yeah, they're losing uh, Isaiah Wilson most likely. God, I don't know. What am I supposed to do with five billion dollars? What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, um, scroll. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe you... I think a lot of what they do will have to be draft-based because they have no money. Uh, like, O-line, I'd, I'd probably draft someone, I think. Yeah. Uh, maybe Edge, you go for some lesser name. Who is lesser name that you would go for? I don't know. I'm looking at... Office alignment. It's just this is so hard just because there's no money. I don't know what their market. I know what they made before. If and you go off un- what they made before, and unlike the Bills, who we knew how to make moves to free up the cap space, I have no idea how the hell they could free up cap space because I don't fall in that closely. Matt Skura, center from Baltimore. Fuck it, just say that one. <laughs> he fucking sucked towards the end of the year. Let's see what's his market value. If it's above ten. I'm punching someone. Drum roll, please. Uh, it's ten million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if they can crib the cap space, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck this. I hate the Titans. I hate the Titans so much. I they like don't have a market value. Ones. I like Derrick Henry. I like AJ Brown. I like Ryan Tannehill. But fuck the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's this edge rusher that I want to know what he would go for. It's uh, Demontre Moore, Seattle. No fucking clue. Especially with how the cast uh, is. Yeah. These market values are fucking insane. He Seven made million. Under a mil. Fucking. The hell is he gonna make now? With the season he had, he's probably not gonna make that much money. <laughs> he's gonna make more than that. I can't figure this shit out. This is annoying. <laughs> Why did we do this? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm skipping the Titans. I have no idea. Do the, use your money on the draft. Buy some scouts. Buy <laughs> some scouts. AFC West. Uh, da, 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 who finished the last? Chargers. Chargers. What does their cast space look like? Cha cha cha. Uh, where are they? <laughs> they're not. They're at the top. Oh, there they are. Thirty-one mil. I forgot what city they were in, so I was. <laughs> of course, San Diego. <laughs> Thirty-one mil. Okay, they lose Melvin Ingram. They need O lineman. All right. Not that I'm saying. That he's gonna be gone. Oh, hold on. Do they need a left tackle or right tackle? They just need a tackle. Yeah, yeah just the I'm, interior line in general. Not that I'm saying this is gonna happen, but if he's a free agent, Daryl Williams would be the guy that won the sign. Good right tackle. If you play him at right tackle, he's good. You solidify that position, you target left tackle in the draft. Yeah, just make sure you play him at his position. Don't play him at guard. Don't play him on the left side. <laughs> Don't play him at center. Right motherfucking tackle. Christ, that pisses He has out. one thing that he's good at, and you stick to it. <laughs> you don't deviate from that plan. Yeah. Fuckers. Fuck God. Um, who do you, who do you think? What do you think of Daryl Williams going to the Chargers? I like Daryl Williams. Let's uh, let me take a look at uh, if they opt to go for a D tackle. They could because Jerry Taylor was a flop. Was, uh, could go Drew Casey. I don't know. Sue is a person. That's a person. Lawrence guys old. Uh, Jonathan Hankins is didn't have great production. I think Kurt Casey would be the best one for them in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay, fuck it. So, Daryl Williams and Jarrell Casey. <laughs> fuck. Uh, I almost said Oakland. Las Vegas Raiders. Ah. ah, ah. Apparently, ah, they're ah. a dark horse assigned J.J. Watt. I don't think he's going to go there. But they're like the dark horse, people are saying, for, for J.J. Dark horse, my ass. They have negative two mil. <laughs> They better, they, better, they better fix their cap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I think they should go wide receiver. They're losing Aguilar. They're losing Zay Jones. They should just grab big old meaty boy, tall guy. I don't know. Who is available that fits those standards, fits that criteria? Go, human machine. Da, 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 da. What position? Wide receiver. Wide receiver. Okay, I was listening. I was looking at what is making is taking all of Vegas's money, and the answer is their line. Oh yeah, it they're seems. all old and expensive. <laughs> uh, uh, cheap. You gotta go cheap. What the fuck? Cheap. Not, all right, let's not AB. down. Laquan Treadwell, maybe. <laughs> uh, looking at names, I'm trying to remember who fits the description of big beefy boy. I mean. Kenny Galladay fits it, but he's not gonna. He's gonna want sixteen million dollars a year. Yeah. So no. Um, <laughs> Big beefy boy. <laughs> uh, is I, I'm forgetting. DD is DD bigger? Is he? He's a smaller guy, right? He's smaller. <laughs> okay. But he'd be fine. I'm. I was just fucking around. Alan Lazard. That could be one. He's gonna want a lot of money. Fix your cap space. Come back to me, Oakland, Vegas, wherever the fuck you play from. The Raiders. Fucking Gruden Grinders. Fuck them. <laughs> I'm getting exhausted from doing this. <laughs> uh, next up is... Broncos. Yes. 
I think I skipped the Broncos to the Raiders, but Broncos. They got a lot of cap space. Bronx. No. They have. Oh God, I need to go back to my original. No. Is this where you think Dak Prescott could go? Uh. I'm gonna say no. I think. Where... I think Patrick Peterson would be a better spot for here, but. At, I mean, I'm also a Drew Locke fanboy, so I want to hear your opinion on this. I think my, 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 my prediction is Patrick Peterson, or my guess. My, 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 my fit for a cornerback, because they need cornerback as well. I still want to hold on to the dream of Dak staying with the Cowboys. I want I, I want that to happen. Okay, so, so what did the Broncos take? Um, pff, fuck all. Um... <laughs> Let me see. What is what is their cap? They have forty seven mil. Alright, so cap is definitely not an issue. Uh if we go to quarterback and we see free agents, we see we have a lot of shit. You think they'd sign someone to take the job from Drew Locke from what's there? I think maybe bring in someone Cause what do they have for backup? Maybe just bring someone in that will Like what, an Andy Dalton? Probably back up, but Maybe Andy, maybe like a just a small deal like a McCarran or a McCoy. Right. Uh, you okay? We're gonna push our uh, we're gonna push our quarterback to be better. Colt McCoy is gonna take your job. He's gonna be like, no, he's not. Well, because I don't I don't see I don't know if they should because especially just looking at this free agent class, unless they get Dak, I don't know. I don't see them making a move in this free agency that will help them at quarterback enough to win more games. So then outside of quarterback, what do you think they should go? I still think they should go Patrick Peterson. They have the cap space. They haven't needed a corner. They should just get a corner. <laughs> Not AJ Boy. Yeah. I'll bring him back. <laughs> corner would be good um, if they went something like O-line. Who would they Mac. I don't think do, do they, they don't need a center, do they? Um, I mean, no, not really. They, if anything, they need a right tackle. They can go right tackles. You got a Ricky Wagner, uh, Kendall Lamb, Ty and Secchi. Ty and Secchi. I, I. I guess Wagner. I could. I could see. I was gonna have Wagner go to the Chiefs next. That's my guess. Well, Wagner Chiefs. Because because Mike Grammers is free agent and he got hurt, or uh, Eric Fisher got hurt. I think one of the tackles got hurt. So I think they upgraded right tackle. Uh, but it, he's also old, so he probably wants to play to win. Right. So who do you think the Chiefs would take then? Um. Final pick. Don't. No pressure. No pressure. Final pick. No pressure. First, I want to see if they have money. Oh yeah, that's probably should have guessed. That's probably should look at that, huh? Ah, well they have negative eighteen mil. Never so. mind. <laughs> Never mind. No rookie Wagner for you, KC. Uh, <laughs> Fix your cap space. <laughs> what the fuck? I was gonna say what is eating it up, but then uh, besides half besides that, uh, half a like half a billion dollar man. Um, D Lion has their first has two of their biggest contracts. With Chris Jones and Frank Clark combining for, I think they're going to forty six mil. I think they're getting rid of Frank Clark. Not Frank Clark. Without a, yeah, maybe I don't know. Potentially. Well, his dead cap is thirty seven mil. Then no dig it. Don't get rid of Fred Clark. Don't get rid of Frank Clark. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> That's a bad. Yeah, all, all all of the all of those top contracts, their dead cap is terrible. Patrick Mahomes' dead cap is sixty million. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, every 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 position that they could release to make to give more cap, I think is it's like too valuable to do. Like Taron Matthew, uh, you would save like fifteen mil ish, but it's Taron Matthew. You want to do that? Tyreek saves ten mil. Fisher saves a lot. Uh, Schwartz saves a lot, but you don't want to release those guys. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna opt out of this one. Uh, have fun, K- KC. Um, I'm glad I'm not your GM. 
Uh, do you have any final words before I, uh, um, I add this one? I don't know, man. Tell 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 the head coach to stop spending money on burgers, and maybe you'll have more money.